evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? I hope you're very well. Um, Saturday, and uh, I'm just going to start a Pilates class um, for you with Paul. I hope you're all looking after yourself. And uh, not so nice standing in the queues when it's raining, but it was bound to uh, rain eventually. So I hope you're still sticking with your classes if possible. Remember, if you have any requests or any queries about anything, do let me know um, and I can stick something in for you, especially if it's your back, neck or shoulders or whatever. Okay, so as always, anything that's not comfortable for you, remember to rest down, try it if you can. If it still doesn't feel right, then modify it where possible or um, don't do it. You can do any of the other movements that we do um, throughout the class instead of the one that you don't particularly like, okay? And um, posture and form important. Remember pelvic floor awareness, pubic bone internally lifted towards your waistline as opposed to this kind of thing where you're tilting your pelvis. Um, shoulders nice and relaxed. Two or three good movements better than five or ten not so good ones and you don't want to be fighting with your body for maintaining your ability to continue your movement so when you feel as if you're under strain or your neck is tiring your shoulders are tired then rest down and come back in again when you're ready rather than just hanging on for the sake of it okay so feet a little bit wide in hip distance knees are nice and soft always setting our posture head nice and tall shoulders down and away from the neck ribs always connected to the hip line and nice big deep breath in through the nose out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth remember ladies and gentlemen please to try and continue to breathe throughout your class don't get too hung up on whether you're inhaling or exhaling just make sure that you do continue to breathe and you don't hold your breath so bending down to pick up your ball remember if you don't have a ball you can use a pillow or a towel and the class can be done without any of those things at all. So shoulders nice and relaxed. We're going to slowly press the ball out, bending the knees, push the bum back. So into a small squat just to warm up first. Exhale, bum back. Now remember the knees sit above the ankles. You don't push them forward. Inhale. Exhale, press the ball to me. Lengthen the shoulders, but keep the shoulders in the back or lengthen the arms. Exhale back. Inhale, lift. Breathe out. chin in line with the chest, two to go, last one, and nice in breath. We're going to slowly roll the ball to the ceiling. We're going to bend the knees and drop out to the waist, to the side, exhale, inhale centre, and slowly lower. Breathe out, lift the ball towards the ceiling, slowly lift the waist, on the left hand side, keep the head between the upper arms, breathe in, exhale, press the ball to the ceiling, lengthening the body, keeping the shoulders in the back, remember the arms are raised, inhale, exhale, shoulders are down, breathe out, breathe in, exhale, remember how that out breath connects with those pelvic floor muscles ladies and gentlemen, so it's important to keep your breath going through your movements, inhale, Nice in breath, bend the knees, take the bum back and just roll that ball. Now again, try not to focus so much on the ball going around as what you're doing with your body in order to make the ball move. So the bum goes back slightly, the weight is in the heels of the feet and you should be able to feel that movement in the muscles in your waistline, so internal externals, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, bum back circle. Exhale. So on the top arm on the rotation, that's where you should feel the stretch. Okay, bum back. Again, you may feel it in the back of the buttocks, top of the thighs a little bit. It just depends where it's tight in each person's particular body when they're doing their routine. Exhale, two to go, bum back. Breathe in. One more set, exhale, and inhale, lovely. 
play. We're gonna piss up all between the knees. We're gonna take a nice in breath, the toes are forward, we reset the shoulders, ribs down, hips level, and just raise yourself right up onto the tips of your toes. Breathe in lower. Now think about your ankles. Try not to let them tip out. Think of your big toe, strong on the floor, right up through the front of your foot towards your ankles. Exhale, pressing tall to the ceiling, as if you're being grabbed from the top of your head, nicely of course. All the way up, shoulders down, ribs connected, so there's no arching of the lower back. Breathe in. Exhale, feeling that right through the front of your feet, into your ankles, up the back of your Achilles tendon. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Breathe in. Breathe out, lift. Inhale down. Exhale. And inhale. Obviously, this challenges your balance, as you can see. Breathe out, four. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale down, exhale two, breathe in lower. Now we're going to do eight a little bit faster, so lift. So rather than shove yourself up or press yourself forward, think of that lift right through the centre as if you're being pulled up nicely. Eight, seven, six, roll those feet off the floor. Five, you should start to feel it in your lower calf muscles. Three, and two, and one, and gently relax, lovely, nice in breath, exhale into squat, nice narrow squat, toes are forward, feet are hip distance, breathe out, reach, but don't shove your arms forward, keep your shoulders relaxed, floating those arms to me, floating them down, exhale four, breathe in, exhale three, inhale, exhale two, breathe in, Exhale, one. Now we're gonna hold here. Drop the arms, you can place them on the top of your thighs and keep your shoulders relaxed and we're just gonna squeeze. Now try not to bounce into the ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Control how you press your knees into the ball, but also how you release your knees back against, uh, from the ball. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to hold the knees to the ball and we're just going to pulse for 10, 9, shoulders relaxed, arms lengthened, 6, 5, 4, hopefully I've pointed that right for you, 3, 2, 1, now hold here, hands on the front of your thighs, now lift your heels, inhale down, exhale, lift the heels, exhale, lift. Inhale down, shoulders relax, breathe out, lift. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Inhale, almost gripping the floor with the bottom of your toes. Press, really working those muscles in your feet. We'll do six more. And five. And four. Try not to lift the body, just lift the heels. Three. So you're using your body weight as load on those muscles. Two to go. Last one, and gently come out of that. Lovely, we're gonna pick up the ball into our hands. Feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. Nice in breath, shoulders down, ribs down. And we're gonna come forward into a forward bend. And nice and slowly, first in case your lower back or any of your back is tight, chin towards your chest. Arms are loose, shoulders relaxed. Breathe in, lift the abdominals back a little bit. And slowly bring the spine back up, vertebrae by vertebrae. You could bend your knees if your hamstrings are tight there. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And just breathe in now. And exhale, lifting the abdominals gently. Slowly roll the spine back up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Shoulders away from the neck. Inhale. Exhale forward, chin to chest. Lengthening that head out towards the floor, feeling the stretch possibly in the back of your legs. Remember, if your legs are tight, soften your knees. Inhale, exhale up one vertebrae at a time, shoulders relaxed, arms are heavy and loose. Breathe in. Remember, you can stop at any time if you need to. However, try not to stop just because I'm teaching verbally, because if you're new to me, you'll realize that I 
Teach all the way through my classes. Inhale up. Exhale. And if you were to stop and wait, you would get nothing done. Slowly bring that spine back up. Shoulders relaxed. Lovely. We're going to take the feet nice and wide. Toes out on a 45 degree angle. We're going to drop the bum down the middle. So the knees are bent and directly above the ankles. I'm going to exhale. Rotate. Now nice range of movement through that shoulder. Keep the head tall. Breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Now again, if you have issues with your neck and shoulders and you find that difficult to make a, a maybe a full range, make it small, just in front. Remember, any movement that you can do with any limb, especially if there's something wrong with it, now excluding severe chronic pain, but aside from that, any movement that you can make with a joint is better than no movement at all. Exhale. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, and keep your body weight down on your thighs. Three to go. Two, one, and we're going to take that back the opposite direction. So we're going wide to the body. And again, initially, you may feel a slight uh, difference in the shoulder movement or the ability of the shoulder. And again, that movement is fluid, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want big, tight pushing, forcing movements. We want lengthening, but not with a force, with a fluidity. Four to go. Exhale. Three. And two. And one. Now I want you to turn your toes forward, take a nice in breath, lengthen the legs if you can, soft at the back of the knees if you need to, push your bum straight back and keep your back flat. Lovely. Leave the ball on the floor and you can just feel that stretch up the back of the thighs from the back of the knees. Now don't bring your head down, just hold there. Nice in breath, I want you to soften the knees, pull back on the tummy muscles and slowly roll the spine up. Lovely. Once again, toes are forward. Legs are long and lengthened, but not locked at the knee. Push the bum back, or you can soften the knees if you wish. Bum goes right back, feeling the stretch from the back of the knees into the hamstrings towards the buttocks. Shoulders relaxed, and you feel as if you're flat through your back. If possible, nice, slowly. Bring the ribs out first towards the floor and you'll feel an increase in the back of your hamstring stretch. Nice in breath. Now tuck the chin in towards the chest, lower down. Fingertips on the floor. Now just push your bum back and bend your knees and straighten the legs. Push your bum back, bend your knees. Bring your neck into line with your spine. Now drop your chin in towards your chest so the top of your head is facing the floor when your legs are lengthened. Bend the knees, drop the bum. Back of the neck is level and flat. Straighten the legs, chin to chest. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the head up a little bit so the neck is in line with the spine. Chin to chest, top of the head faces the floor, straighten the legs two more times, exhale down. Breathe in with the bum, chin to chest, top of the head faces the floor. Exhale, bend the knees, drop the bum, flat back. Just feeling that stretch and contraction right up into the glute muscles, into the top of the hip and thighs. Nice breath in. Slowly walk the heels and the toes in until they're just below your hip line. Pull back on the tummy. The knees are bent, chin to chest. Grab your ball. Nice in breath and slowly restack the spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Lovely. Now, we're going to take ourselves gently to the floor. Lovely. We're going to come down onto our hands and knees. Now again, if you've got any issues with your knees, by all means, place your pillow or your towel underneath your knees or wherever you feel that you need it. And place your ball into the back of your leg, like so. Now, nice end breath. I want you just to very gently press the knee back, keeping the hips aligned, hands below your shoulders, elbows are soft, neck in line with the spine. And I want you just to slowly press that knee up and bring it back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Breathe out, lift. 
Inhale. Exhale. Now that's a small movement. You're trying to keep your knee aligned with the back of your hip. You're also trying to keep your right buttock in line with your left buttock. Four to go. Inhale. Slight lift on the tummy. Exhale as you press the knee up. Inhale as you bring it down. Nothing difficult about that, ladies and gentlemen, just that you continue to breathe. Two to go. Last one. Now I want you just to bring that knee slightly towards the thigh on the other leg and back out. Exhale slightly towards the thigh on the other leg and back out. Towards the thigh on the other leg and back out. Towards the thigh on the other leg and back out. Exhale. Now try not to take all your body weight into your wrists, ladies and gentlemen, as I've said to you before. You want to keep your body weight so that you're being held through the center of your body to the ceiling rather than putting all your weight into your wrists because that's what gives you the sore wrist joints or makes them feel uncomfortable. Two to go. Exhale. Inhale. And last one. And hold. Now we're going to take that knee to the side and down. Exhale to the side and down. So small movement. Breathe out. Remember, any little movement is better than no movement, if possible. Exhale. The longer you continue your movements, the more you'll feel your wrists. The more, it's just a natural thing that we do, is to rely on the arms to hold us. But because we're doing Pilates, you're focusing on being held through your center. Four to go. Exhale. Two to go. Last one, and gently bring that leg in. Well done. We're just going to place the ball between the knees. We're going to push the bum back a little bit. Make sure that your knees are not together, especially if you suffer with uh, reflux or regurgitation or heartburn. Check your chest. Long arms if possible. Bent arms if your neck or shoulders feel that that stretch is too tight. And breathe. Inhale. Exhale, we're just going to slide those arms to the right, feeling the stretch down the left trunk, chin to chest, head stays between the upper arms, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to walk that stretch out towards the left hand side, now we feel that stretch down the right hand side, and breathe in centre. We're going to reset our posture, so we're going to keep our shoulders relaxed, the back flat as possible. Again, it's always a, a, there's a difference obviously in people's height, shape, and all the rest of it. So those things are something else that we have to deal with as well. So somebody that's six foot two is going to have a lovely long waist. Somebody with a short midsection like myself is going to have a short waist. Now bend the knee, ball in at the back of the leg, and we're just going to Exhale, press the knee back, and again, trying to keep the hips nice and level. Inhale down. So your goal is not to shove that knee as far as you can up towards the ceiling, because here's an example. When you do that, look what happens. It affects your neck. It usually uh, <coughs> affects your lower back. You may not feel it, but over time you would. So keeping the back nice and long. Exhale, inhale down. Breathe out. And always keep your foot in flexion, that helps to keep the ball in the back of your knee. Exhale. So flexion, just pull the toes tightly towards your ankles and keep them there. Exhale, press. Inhale, back. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, down. Four to go. Breathe in. Exhale three, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale one, inhale. Now, slowly bring that leg towards the thigh of your right leg and back. Towards the thigh of your right leg and back. Towards the thigh of your right leg and back. Towards the thigh of your right leg and back. Four to go, exhale, breathe in, and three, so we're just stretching down the outside edge of that hip, two to go, 
last one breathe in center now just take your leg out on the diagonal a little bit and back to center exhale out inhale exhale remember elbows are slightly soft if you find that you're locking your elbows you know that that's going to affect your shoulder alignment exhale six to go keeping those hips as level as possible and five just as if you're pointing your knees slightly towards the diagonal line four and three exhale inhale last two and get out of the next one in there last one and gently bring that leg in good i just want to make a point there ladies and gentlemen you'll notice that on the right leg we just moved it up and a little bit down because i was chatting to you about your movements i think i brought the knee down so remember small lift small hold all right now pull between your knees sit back arms fully extended chin towards the chest and just gently walk your hands out towards your left hand side feeling the stretch down the right hand side now remember not to push your hips out your hips sit above your feet inhale center and out the other side now for those of you who are tight in the knees or have issues with your knees or have had knee replacements or hip replacements or things like that where this might be a little bit difficult for you to do you can still do a stretch keeping your bum above your knees and just gently walk your hands out and you'll still feel that stretch down the trunk of the body and then out the other side and gently back to center okay lovely now nice in breath we're going to very gently sit around on our bum and we're going to place our pillow or our towel just underneath the hips okay shoulders nice and relaxed nice in breath fingertips here and we exhale we're going to pull up internally pubic bone towards the waist and just gently slide back and then lift so imagine you have a string tied to the center of your body and you draw away from that string or rope that is tied to the wall in front of you you breathe out and the rope pulls you upwards so that you lengthen your back rather than just doing this okay so up exhale Pull up on the tummy, pubic bone up towards your waist, so you're lifting those tummy muscles. Inhale, exhale back. Breathe in, lift. Exhale, shoulders down. But remember when you keep your shoulders down that you don't do this. Okay? Breathe in. Now we're going to do eight a little bit faster. Lengthen the spine, breathe out. Strong in the core, seven and six. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, four to go. And three. And two. And one. Now we're going to hold here. We're going to bend the knees. Hands together. Exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. Now focus on your core, so hold through your tummy, keep the shoulders down, we're going to go eight. So when you rotate here, you're not pulling this shoulder up around your knee, keep it down. All those little movements that the body does releases some of the muscle work on the muscles that should be doing the work. Four to go. So remember, we're remembering our tummy, we're pulling up on those abdominals internally three inhale two woo, one more and gently relax lovely i'm going to take the ball place it in between your knees and gently take yourself down towards the floor lovely so knees and feet hip distance arms are nice and long flat to the floor shoulders relaxed now, if you've got a high pillow or towel, just slide it out for your bridge position because what it does is sometimes it forces your head too deeply in towards your chest and you can replace it if you need it. 
For me, this is fine because as I come up, the palms sort of flattens back down in anyway. So exhale, lift. Nice and rough. Now I want you to drop your right hip and lift again. Exhale, drop the left hip. Exhale, right hip down. Breathe in, lift. Now what you don't want to do is drop your body, okay? So you've got to keep your height, knee, hip, shoulder, and then just drop right hip back to center, left hip. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, inhale. So try not to bring your bum down. Just isolate the hip line, drop. Breathe in, drop the right hip, and the left hip, and the right hip, and the left hip. Two more times, right hip, left hip, right hip, left hip, and gently bring the spine back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, pull back on the tummy, imprint the small of the back, drop the hips, and stretch those legs out, left leg. I'm saying breath. Take a full stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Arms up. Remember to change your arm line if it affects your neck and shoulders and they're uncomfortable. Keep your shoulders in your back. Ribs down in your midsection. The feet are flexed. And inhale. Deep and wide into your midsection. And remember your breathing in between your movements is deeper than uh, as you perform your movements. Okay? This is just for relaxation. Breathe in until your tummy and your belly pushes forward towards the ceiling, hold at the top, exhale. And breathe in through the nose. Hold at the top and big out breath. Through an open mouth, love that. Now we're going to breathe in through the nose, ball stays between the knees. And we're just going to exhale and curl forward. Now, if you need to support your head with your hands, then do so. The key is not to pull your head, remember. Fingers nice and wide, your hands act like a ball underneath your head. Uh, no, they don't. Your hands act like a net underneath your head. Your head is the ball. This part of your body does your strength work, not your hands. So exhale, curl, chin to chest, eyes on the thighs, arms low, breathe in. Breathe out, curl. Inhale back, exhale, inhale. So if you're using your hands, again, for both positions, ribs sliding towards your hips, that's all you need. You don't need all this pulling yourself up there, especially if you have issues with your back. Sometimes you forget to think about your core because your brain is so focused on how high you can come up that you end up um, releasing the tummy muscles and not supporting the back correctly or with not enough support. Exhale, inhale, four to go. Breathe out, breathe in. And we're floating those arms forward and back. Breathe in, exhale, and two, and one. Holding here, we're gonna pulse, 10. Remember your elbows are in your peripheral eye line, which means they're not here. They're not here where it affects your ribs. They're just here, where you can see them without turning your eyes out. Four, three, two, four more. Four, ribs to hips. Three, don't allow your back to arch as you come back. So you're keeping some connection with those ribs to hips all the time. Last one, hold. Now nice end breath. Think of your tummy muscles. Exhale, curl those shoulders forward a little bit more towards the thighs. Eyes on your knees or your thighs. Pulse, small, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, low foot, and gently rest on. Now we're going to extend the right leg, and we're going to slowly roll towards your left hand side. Now don't go all the way to the floor, but over as far as it is comfortable for you. Both shoulders stay flat to the floor. Because if you lift your shoulder, you'll lose some of your stretch. Nice inhalation, bend that knee. 
Extend the other leg, keep the hips level. Exhale and rotate. Now obviously your left hip comes up off the floor, but make sure your hips are level before you commence your rotation over. Both shoulders flat to the floor, head in the center of the shoulder line. Inhale, bend the knee. Extension, and remember, the knees are aligned. Exhale, over. Now you'll quite possibly be able to go further over, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, I put my foot through the wall into the next door neighbor if I did that. Nice in-breath, bend the knee. Hips level, extension, knees are aligned, and slow roll. Listening to your lower back all the time, making sure both shoulders are flat to the floor. Inhale, lift. Bend the knee. We're going to bring the knees in. Now just roll across the back of your hips and you'll feel your lower back elongating out along the mat. Nice extension. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Breathe in center. Exhale to the right. Inhale center. Exhale to the left. Breathe in center. Exhale to the right. Inhale center. Exhale to the left. One more time to the right. Inhale to the left. And gently bend those knees. Now. Lift the hips and just level them back out. Squeeze your knees into the ball and release. Now think, when you squeeze your knees into the ball, ladies and gentlemen, you can feel how your bum slightly comes up off the floor because we're relieving the action of the muscles in the buttocks a little bit when we do that and we're using the feet. So keep your bum level and flat. Breathe out through your mouth. Squeeze the ball. Breathe in. Breathe out, squeeze, inhale, squeeze, inhale, exhale, squeeze, breathe and release, exhale, squeeze, breathe and release, exhale, squeeze, inhale, release, breathe out, squeeze, inhale, release. Remember to keep yourself safe when you go out, ladies and gentlemen, I know everything's opening up now, which is wonderful for many of you who love to go and shop a lot. But you have to be so careful. Everything now is all about the economy, uh, business back, which is important also. But you must remember, ladies and gentlemen, that that virus is still out there. And just keep yourself protected. You know, keep squeezing the ball, obviously. <laughs> you know that uh, I was laughed at many times weeks ago when I... Um, my mask I've worn my mask from the very beginning and gloves and uh, don't apologize for that at all but was laughed at lots of comments about this and that and the other and as you can see now all of a sudden masks are almost becoming the in thing exhale we know that they don't protect us completely but they have to give you some little bit of added protection. Don't rely on them, still keep your distance where possible and try and keep that in your head all the time ladies and gentlemen because as things lessen up you find that you do start to forget a little bit. Now pulse 10, plus it's mo harder for um, people to be able to uh, stay away the distance required. Squeeze. Again don't bounce. Nice controls, you can really feel your inner thighs, back of the thighs a little bit. And again, every time you squeeze those knees into the ball, that connects with your pelvic floor muscles. And once again, I usually always have a little chat with you about things I've noticed, or I did mention to you that in these lovely cues that they have, I see people with crutches, I see people with, you know, little rollators and all those things. There's not one chair for an older person or a younger person who has maybe had an accident. Uh, to be able to sit on. It's just unbelievable that um, people are expected to stand. The cues, there's nothing we can do about those, but you know, there's no thought there again for the elderly, I don't think. Now, feet a little bit closer towards your bum. You're gonna squeeze the knees and lift the bum. And lower. Squeeze and lift. 
So when you lift your bum, your knees are tight to that ball and lower. And release on the knees a little bit when you lower. Squeeze the ball, lift the hips. Exhale, breathe in. Breathe out. So again, think of your feet as in two big pots of putty. Okay? And you don't want your feet to go down into the putty. So it's almost like you're trying to keep them on the top but with control and strength. Exhale, squeeze the knees into the ball, lift the hips, and down. Squeeze the knees into the ball, lift the hips, releasing the knees as we lower the bum. Five to go. Breathe in. Exhale. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, always remember, do not hyperextend your hips. So you want a line between your knee, hip and shoulder. Continue if you wish. Knee, hip and shoulder on a diagonal line. What you don't want is your knees and then your hips stuck away up here and then your hips there, okay? Puts pressure on your back, especially if you're not lifting those cores back. Two to go. Breathe in down. One more. We're gonna hold here. Knees into the ball 10 times. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold the knees and 10. Small, small drop, small lift. Seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and gently down. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Just stretch those legs out. And take your nice relaxer stretch. So breathe into your midsection, mouth closed. Hold the breath. You can feel how the belly rises as the lungs push forward. Exhale. And for those of you who are unsure about how to connect with your core, simple exercise, that. Rather than all the words and all of this and do that and do the other, just breathe in. Hold your breath for a second. Breathe out. And as you start to come to the end of your out breath, you'll feel how those tummy muscles pull up. That's your core, that's your pelvic floor, that's your transverse abdominals. And that's why your breath is so important in your, in your exercises of any sort in any discipline. Now, <coughs> we're going to gently lift the bum, set it back down, just to make sure the lower back is correctly elongated, shoulders away from the neck. Now, just roll the knees, keep the space between the feet, roll the knees slightly to your right hand side. Nice in breath, curl the head, neck and shoulders forward. Right hand supports the head. Fingertips of the left arm are going towards the left heel. Breathe out. 10, nine, eight. Now, if you think about it, it's your tummy muscles that are allowing you to come forward. Exhale, three, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna squeeze those knees into the ball a little bit and we're gonna pulse again. 10, nine, keep the squeeze on the ball. Seven, or your pillow, or your towel. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna take that left hand just above the right knee and pulse. 10, nine, eight. Now you're still trying to come up the center rather than out to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Lovely. Reset your posture, shoulders relax. Ribs to hips, roll across the hips, knees and feet hip distance. We're gonna slow roll to the left. Right hand down the side. Now remember, we're not shoving. The fingers are only going closer to the heels as a consequence of our curl. Left elbow, peripheral eye line. Breathe out, curl, nine, eight. Breathing in, breathing out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> I did some. <coughs> now nice end breath. Exhale, take those fingertips across, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yes, I know what it was. Squeeze the knees into the ball. Knees are to the side. Pulse. Ten, nine, eight. Squeeze the knees. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one, and gently rest on. Good work. Kick the ball into the hands. Long body stretch, ribs to hips, hips are level. Legs are lengthened, but don't snap your knees into the floor. Flex the feet, so pull the toes towards the ankles. Nice in breath. Allow the belly to lift, try not to take your breath into your chest, hold at the top. Exhale. And by that, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, I just mean if we breathe up here, it's just a short, shallow breath. We want to try and get the lungs involved a little bit more. Exhale, curl. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Now, I want you to be able to connect with what's happening in your lower belly. So when you curl forward and you hold at this point, you should feel that it's all this that's holding you. You should feel this tighten. Inhale back. Exhale. Keep those shoulders relaxed in your back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feet are flexed. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe out. Exhale. Inhale. Out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, exhale. Now we're going to curl forward if you can. You can support your head at any time with a hand or both hands and no ball if you wish. And let's go. Eight, seven, keep the shoulders forward, five, four, remember ribs to hips, always feeling the ribs a little bit closer to hips, three. Chin down, two, last one, two more, and relax, lovely, good work. Now gently place the ball underneath the back of your hips. Again, remember you can move your pillow or towel away if you prefer. Mine's quite flat. Nice in breath, feet up. Now point your toes, right leg. Now remember, you're moving out from the hip. You're not just dropping your foot to the floor like that, okay? Exhale, breathe in. Chin to tabletop. Maintaining the balance on the ball. Exhale, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Exhale, nice and light with the arms. You don't feel as if the rest of your body's doing that work. Remember, everything comes from your core. Breathe out, three, exhale, knees above the hips, shins, tabletop, two. So watch the difference. This is your leg moving out from your hip. This is you just flicking your foot to the floor. No good, doesn't feel the same, doesn't have the same connection with the core. I'm gonna straighten those legs to the ceiling. Breathe out, breathe in. Now big out breath, hold those tummies up. If two legs are too much, one leg at a time. We'll modify that a little bit for you. Or you could bend your knees and just continue with this. But the important thing is that with those legs, ladies and gentlemen, your legs down here are no good to you if your back is pulling up or you have ache in your lower back, okay? So make sure that you're well supported. Exhale, breathe in, lift. Breathe out. It's not important to go all the way to the floor. Inhale. Remember, modifications one leg at a time. Continue. Rest if you need to. Four to go. Exhale. Hips nice and level. Shoulders relax. Two. Last set. Breathe out. And gently hug those knees in. Lovely. Lovely. Just roll across the ball. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Lovely. We lift the bum, slide the ball out. We're going to gently roll ourselves around, push up, and lie on your belly. I'm going up this way, as you know, because for me to look out this side sometimes makes me dizzy. Okay? So, nice in breath through the nose. We're going to take the ball onto the floor. Now remember, you need to be able to allow the ball to roll forward and back. So chin to chest, feet hip distance, hips level and flat to the floor. 
Nice breath in, lift the top rib up. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want you to do this, okay? I want you to think about your rib that's closest to your mammary glands, your bazookas, your man boobs, moon boobs, whatever you call them, and lift that. Inhale. As you lift that, your arms are lengthened and the ball comes towards you. Breathe in, look. Exhale, shoulders in the back. Breathe in. What you don't want is this. You're never going to get anywhere in the position, I mean. Exhale. And if your ball is off the top of your mat, you want it a good bit away so you can roll the ball towards the edge of your mat. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck against the top edge of your mat. Exhale. Now remember, strong in the core. Keep the hips locked down to the floor and the legs lengthened. Exhale, don't push your toes into the floor. Breathe out, slide the shoulders into the back. Breathe in. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, two. Now we're going to do eight, small ones, seven, six, keep them slow if you wish, five, four, three, two, one, and gently rest down, lovely. We're going to place the ball between the thighs, lovely, chin to chest, pillow or towel underneath the forehead, hands on top, shoulders relaxed. Now just gently point the toes out, squeeze the knees into the ball. Squeeze and release. Now, try not, think about that movement, try not to squeeze your buttocks first, okay? Let the buttocks do their thing, okay? Your bum muscles will know how to tighten themselves in most cases, okay? So just focus on the ball and your thighs. Squeeze, release. Inhale. Exhale and squeeze and release. Keep the hips down tight to the floor. Shoulders relax. Take a little thought on whether your shoulders tighten when you try and squeeze the ball. And squeeze and release. And squeeze and release. Now let's do 10 a little bit faster. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, squeeze. Nine, just went to restart your music for you. Eight, seven, squeeze, six, five. Now can you see how you can feel the muscles uh, in your glutes, bum, contracting without you even thinking about squeezing them? Because it's just a natural reaction as you tighten the thighs, the buttock muscle, the buttock muscles also work. Four, three, two, one, and of course allow for people that have injury or maybe those muscles don't work properly, then that's a side issue. Hold the squeeze and count 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Now, I want you just to stay where you are, if that's comfortable for you. If not, by all means, you can roll around onto your back. I want you to take your ball and just relax it underneath your right hand. Or if you're on the floor and you're somewhere you can put it, that's fine. Now shoulders away from the neck, roll across the front of your pelvis or your hip line. Make sure your hips are level and flat. Your toes are turned in towards themselves and your heels are dropped out. Nice breath in through the nose and breathe in deep and wide. And you'll feel your ribs and your belly pushing down into the mat. Hold your breath. Big out breath through an open mouth. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, you're trying to breathe in for a count of seven if possible. Hold at the top. Now exhale for 11. Or make your exhalation longer than the time you were able to count on your in-breath. Relax after your inhalation before you start your exhalation and the same on your exhalation. So in simple terms, take a big deep breath in through your nose and breathe in until your belly pushes downwards towards the floor. 
hold your breath for a second, open your mouth and breathe out. And then relax after your out breath and take a nice slow in breath. And that's it. Remember that is not your breathing pattern for your movements. Yes, we breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth as we go through our class, but we do not do deep, deep breaths like that, folks. This is purely for relaxation and just setting the body back to where it was before you started your class, okay? I think sometimes people think that they should be taking those big, deep breaths and no, you can't, it's not possible to, you know, expand your lungs like that and then try and do an abdominal curl, otherwise you'd be busting your guts, in other words. Shoulders nice and relaxed but always an awareness of where you're breathing in and out from. That, that's a big aid to helping you to, at some points through your movements. It's impossible, folks, to always just be on time with your in-breath and your out-breath until you're perfect, unless you're perfect, and I don't know anybody that is perfect. Now, gently bend your right knee. Lift the thigh a little bit. Again, it's just a safety thing for me to use so that I feel that your uh, thigh will be lengthened down the mat because sometimes when you bend your knee to stretch it, you can feel your hip lifting. So you want your hip tight to the floor. Reach for the front of your foot, the back of your sock, the back of your trouser leg, or don't reach for your foot at all. You can flex your foot like this, pull your toes down towards your ankles, and just bring the heel towards your bum a little bit as you push down with the hip into the floor. Now that's for those of you who are not reaching for your foot. Nice in breath, push the hips into the floor, rotate the shoulders into the midline of the spine, ladies and gentlemen, keep the knees in line with the hips. And remember, you're pulling your feet, but at the same time, you're pushing your feet back against your hands. Hold your stretch, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, neck is aligned and release. Hands underneath your shoulders, Push the tailbone back, chin towards your chest, just feeling that stretch from the tailbone all the way down the spine. Again, remember to bend your elbows if that stretch is a little bit tight for your neck and shoulders. Breathe in, come back into box position. Tuck your toes underneath your ankles, lift your tailbone to the ceiling, head back between the upper arms, right up onto the tips of the toes. Nice in breath. Slowly drop the heels towards the floor, just bit by bit. Don't ram them down, ladies and gentlemen. If they won't go all the way down, then leave them. Breathe. Exhale, slowly walk back towards. Now soften your knees here if you wish. Straighten the legs. Nice breath in. Slight lift on the tummy and slowly exhale as you bring the spine back up. Lovely. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Good work. I hope you enjoyed that. Give yourselves a big clap and have a good day and I'll see you all very soon, I hope. Big deep breath in. Exhale down. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. And well done, ladies and gentlemen. Good work. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.